we've been keeping you updated on this, a positive detection of New World screw worm in a cow in the southern Mexico state of Chiapas. In fact, as Michelle Rook is continuing to track this, and Michelle, U.S. officials are working hard to keep it out of this country. New World screw worm has not been detected in the U.S. since the 1960s. However, a case in southern Mexico on November 22nd prompted USDA to essentially close the border to Mexican cattle imports. Now, the news sent feeder cattle prices higher, but without any detectable spread, the market is gearing up for a reopening of the border sooner rather than later. USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service has heightened import restrictions on cattle and animal products from Mexico and intensified efforts in Central America to contain the spread of New World screw worm. Animal health experts say it's warranted as it's a significant threat to U.S. animal health. And so it, it is, can have a huge impact, so uh, certainly an economic impact because it decreases the health and wellness of our livestock, um, certainly thinking about loss of animal use, um, and certainly thinking about our wildlife populations that could be decimated by this disease. The pest can infest any warm-blooded animal, including humans, and it's carried by flies. And so the screw worm fly lies its eggs in an open wound on an animal, and then these larvae or worms um, just eat the flesh of that animal. And Cozill advises producers to monitor herds, especially in southern cattle production areas, and use preventative measures, including sterile fly introduction or animal health products. However, it looks like the case is isolated. So when will the border restrictions ease for Mexican cattle and product imports? So recent reports from APHIS that have come out um, even this week, um, we talk about that the border is going to open after Christmas time, 1st of January. We're working really hard to set up some pre-export pins that APHIS will go in and okay. Um, and they're feeling, APHIS is feeling very good about um, the protocols that are being set in place. Market analysts say when the border reopens, it may hurt cattle prices in the South more than the North. So yeah, they could break a little bit, but I think the reality of the deal is it looks like there's enough people out there that believe that ownership is the key when it comes to having some cattle around them as tight. Supplies are very, very tight uh, of this kind of animal, this yearling type uh, steer. And, uh, you know, that's going to still put a prop underneath the thing because the cash index is so strong. And so the price impact will likely be short-lived. I'm a Sherbrooke reporting for Ag Day. All right, thanks, Michelle. Still ahead, what has gotten into the pig population lately? A look at another wild chase where police tried to bring home the bacon in the country.